hello guys and welcome to this new episode in our free internet tricks series so if you're looking to set up http custom for free internet or just looking to have a complete understanding of how this app works through the different tunneling modes you've landed on the right video so in today's video i'll be giving you a complete http custom guide covering everything you should know about the application okay so without any further ado let's end this tutorial Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you're using the latest version of HTTP Plus, okay, of HTTP Custom Padding. So what you want to do is to search for HTTP Custom in your Google Play Store, just like so. And then you make sure it is updated to its latest version, okay. As you can see, I am updated to its latest version. So once you're here, just click on Open. And this should show the app at a glance, okay. So this is how it should look like at a glance and there are a couple of things you should understand what i love about this app is it makes everything tr available through a few checks okay so we have eight options here that you can check from depending on the tunnel method you're willing to use okay let's say you want to use a payload you have to check this and make sure that you set up the payload settings from the options that are provided okay so one thing i love about this http custom is that it makes it easy for any user to use the app whether you are just looking a vpn that should tunnel your connection and let you access the internet safely or you're looking to tunnel a server a connection through your server and access the internet for free okay so let me show you a brief string of what i'm talking of so if you are looking to use http custom for your connection setting just to turn on the connection then you should check this vpn settings we should make everything available at your disposal okay and then you just have to enter your username and password then click on connect to initiate the server okay so let's get back to the ssh settings so i believe this is where all of us want to have the understanding okay so i will cover each option step by step so let's say you want to use the payload okay if you check this option payload you have to come on this hamburger icon here and click on this payload okay under the utility tab and here you have to enter your payload and the remote proxy if your payload supports that okay for the payload if you're looking to get a working payload i've provided a link to this to our payload generator that you can get from the video description okay so the payload generator will generate payloads that are available for your country so make sure you choose that one wisely and after you've entered the payload you just have to click on apply okay so another easy way to generate your own payload by yourself if you already have a host of course is to still click on this hamburger icon and click on simple maker so this simple maker will give you a couple of options that you can choose from and generate your own custom payload okay as for the host make sure you enter a working host still you can get a host from the link provided in the video description and then you select whether it is merger or split and then you enter your host select the request method which get is probably the most common method to use and then the injection method you make sure you select the one that you know that is going to work for the host depending on the request method okay so if you only get on the get request method you always want to make sure you check check this or you select this back inject right and again you make sure you check this reverse proxy if and only if your host supports the proxy as for these other options they are checked by default you have this clip alive online host and forward host okay so these ones are always checked by default keep alive helps your connection remain stable okay and then for the online host make sure that your host always remain online as per the request from your tunnel okay and so does the forward host and for the payload you want to check this if of if of course your host support this real request Okay. and the user agent you want to let it as it is because chrome is the default bot or user agent and then once you've done all of that just click on generate payload just like so this is how it should look like and here you can add a little tweaking 
on your own yeah as for disconnect you can want to put it instead to get let me say you want to enter just get just like so though we already have the get right here okay so that is how you get to do it if you can see this one is the same this is the same page where is the same as just this this payload right here okay it is the same thing all right so after generating your host or after generating your payload you should see it in this field and then you have to enter your mode ip if you didn't enter it in the payload generation okay and once you're done all of that you click apply all right as for this ip or for the server identification the server name the server account or the ssh account i'll cover that as a last step okay so i just wanted to get a complete understanding of how to use any each and every one of these methods all right so once you're done with this generate payload you just click on connect make sure you've entered your account as i'll show later and if in case you are to use the ssl which is probably the most common and easy you want to check this and then you click on the hamburger icon just here and then you make sure you select sni and for this sni you want to enter a working sni host okay and again i've provided a link to sni host generator in the video description so i wouldn't be entering this one right here if you're looking for a complete guide to set up HT sni connection for http custom you can as well get the link in the video description okay so make sure you check that one out after entering your sni let's say you enter a, a random sni just like so you just click apply okay so the sni has been entered and what you'll be left to do is to enter your ssh account or ssl account right here okay and as for this other option slow dns so before even checking the slow dns or before even trying to use it make you need to keep in mind that this is a relatively slow connection tunnel okay just as its name predicts so you only want to check this is if at all the other options don't work well for you okay and as for the udp custom same goes this way you have to enter the ip and port name okay and then you come and tweak the udp settings from this little tab right here okay by default you should see something just like this this is a tweak i already did so you should see something like this one just like so and they receive just like so you should see something like this when you open this udp tweak settings okay so you want to tweak it to your best understanding okay so if you don't know how this works you just want to enter this as i've provided like this okay and for the transfer rate you want to leave it to one and year one as well so once you're done with that one just click on apply okay and again you have to enter your udp custom server right here before even clicking connect all right and as for the siphon you just have to enter the siphon settings right here okay so the protocol make sure you select the one that you know will work well for your isp okay because these siphon settings are very very delicate so make sure you know what you're doing at this point okay for the regions always best performance because you never know which one works well okay and the authorization is a json format you have to generate it from a siphon generator okay this one this option isn't always recommended with http custom the apps dedicated for this one just like the siphon tunnel app okay and for the v2 ray okay say you check this v2 ray what you have to do is to click on this puzzle icon here and then you click on v2 ray settings where you have to import your v2 ray settings again for the v2a you'll be generating this v2a config settings from a v2a account provider so on this provider's website you have to enter your host if in case you have a host for your v2a or you have a v2a host you enter a username password and a couple of other verification 
okay and then once you're done you just generate it it should be in the string so you have to copy that one and paste it right here in this field okay so you can click this paper tree icon if you have a v2a already generated right i've made a complete guide on how to use or how to set up v2a with http custom so you can check the one from the video description okay so that is how you get to set up http custom for free internet okay so make sure that the option that you select works well for your host because if you select a wrong option or a wrong tunnel method for your host that does or that isn't compatible with your host chances are you wouldn't be successful while attempting to initiate the connection okay so you have a few couple of options that work well with http custom you have this payload ssl udp v2b and also in some cases or most cases where your connection isn't the best you have slow dns okay so this video was mainly on a complete understanding of how these other options or how these options work with http custom okay these are the five most common you want to use even though siphon is also included and as for the other tabs in http custom you can generate your your payload right here if you don't want to enter it from a website or if you don't want to copy it from someone if you have a host that you want to tweak it by yourself fine just use this payload maker or you can just paste it here this other one is for the sni host and for the connection if you are looking to use ssh settings just like here with these options you just check this one and if you intend to use the SCP custom just for a VPN tunnel or just just because you want to mask your IP or hide your IP from your IPS from ISP you just want to check these VPN settings right here and then you enter username and password okay and then for these other tools you want to act to explore them by yourself because they are really really interesting to use and as for the SSH account providers you have a couple of them we have fast ssh we have other options just like name search or let me just search for v2 or ssh account providers there are just many of them you have ssh ocean ssh stores equinox edge and so on and so forth the list is just unlimited so the one i always recommend you use is fast ssh okay because this one unlike other ssh account providers their account aren't or their servers don't always experience a very long downtime okay presently as this video is made is being made ssh ocean ocean account or ssh ocean servers are actually down okay so you wouldn't be able to use ssh ocean for your creation process okay but if you're looking to use HTTP custom you want to use another one that i will greatly recommend okay i will greatly recommend use udp custom dot online for udp custom configs okay they are very great in offering account or udp account servers that you just have to copy and paste okay you just have to copy and paste in http custom okay let me give it a little try all right so you can see what i love with this site is they make these custom configs available for any vpn specific okay you see this for http custom sox ip tunnel zai vpn siphon as i said earlier v2 ray of course that one should work with http custom http injector in fact anyone that supports v2 ray so this is these are the best SSH, ssh account providers that you can have so we've come to the end of our video if you found it actually helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell icon to never miss our upcoming trends okay so i catch you in the next episode